Well, it is a gorgeous night for football here in Evanston, and Ryan Field playing host to a night game for just the 13th time in its storied history. The opponents tonight out of Michigan and their first road game of the season. First time since 76, they started with five straight at home. They've taken, all, all, taken on all comers in the big house, and Brady Hope 5-0 in his first season as the head man at Michigan. 72% completion percentage for his career the Achilles he says is well healed Pat Fitzgerald said that Persa was fantastic and healthy all week Schmidt is his tailback and they look to spread Michigan out right off the bat they dump it to Dunsmore and Drake Dunsmore forced out of bounds after a gain of seven Let's Jeremy speak. Ebert five touchdowns the last two weeks having an outstanding couple of weeks of football Persa to throw again and that one just a little bit low coverage by JT Floyd of Michigan and a secondary that's sure to be tested Troy Wolfolk by the way lost his cast today he's still playing injured Persa pressure dumps and incomplete the pressure came from a blitzing linebacker Kenny Demons and he got to him in a hurry forced the Northwestern punt one of the things you'll notice throughout the evening is Michigan will continue to bring pressure. You're going to see Demons comes right up the middle, gets his hands on Persa. Good coverage by Michigan downfield, forces them to punt. Vincent Smith is now at a running back. Here's Denard Robinson out of the slot. He came in motion and took the handoff. Two plays, two carries, two big hits on Denard Robinson. And that'll set up a third and a long two. Now three wide for the first time. And Robinson will take off. He's got blockers in front and a stiff arm will lead to possibly a Michigan first down. And the spot will be at the 39. Gain of three and a Michigan first down. Derek Mark is in as a spy for Northwestern on Robinson. He's typically a wide receiver and returner. Robinson dials deep. He's got a man. And jump ball taken away. Michigan's got it. It's Junior Hemingway who wins the jump ball for Michigan. And they're going back to those big passes. This one a gain of 48. It's Notre Dame all over again. Isolation on the left-hand side of your screen, right hand of the offensive formation. Good protection by that Michigan offensive line. And as we talked about, the big playability by Junior Hemingway. Jump ball, see him extend, goes up and makes the play. Good defense right there by Ibrahim. Denard under center for the first time. And out of the eye formation, play action. Wide open and caught. Touchdown, Michigan. Steve Watson with an eight-yard touchdown grab, and the Wolverines are on the board. Even in this new pro-style offense, you generally don't see a whole lot of tight ends, and if you do, it's their starter, Kevin Coger, but this time they get Watson in the lineup, and he comes wide open in the back corner of the end zone. Short game, but he still was able to move the football down four yards. Coulter back in at quarterback. Another option look here, and he cuts back beautifully. Touchdown, Northwestern. Sophomore Kane Coulter with the keeper. And the thought process by bringing Mark into spy is that they want to make Denard beat him, beat them with his arm, and he did on the first possession. Now he wants to pass again. Deep ball on a line, complete for a first down, and more into Northwestern territory is Hemingway. A pickup of 26, the second big play from Denard to Hemingway. Vincent Smith, the tailback with Robinson. Misdirection, Denard sets up off his back foot, lets one go, and that is picked off. Intercepted by Campbell, and Campbell has a return, and an alley finally brought down at the 37-yard line. A return of 31. Vincent Smith popped him down. Bursa left the Illinois game early last week after getting that Achilles injury bothered once again, and now he runs the option, but will pitch once again. Green, touchdown Northwestern on a beautiful cutback. Two possessions ago, Michigan on a third and long, hit a deep ball. Venerick Mark not in to spy this time, but a nickel package is. Pump, fake, and finally Roundtree, pardon me, Hemingway, with the grab, a pickup of eight, and a Michigan first down. Robinson under center again. Play action. They try to set up the little screen, and Gallon couldn't break away. Drugged down by Vince Brown after a pickup of seven. Now, pardon me for Michigan, and Robinson 
on the run, and he will decide to try to run for it, and wisely steps out of bounds ahead of Ibrahim Campbell, a pickup of eight. That will set up third down in the offense, staying on the field for Michigan. Pressure coming. Robinson stands tall, throws, got it! Koger hauls this one in. Second big grab for a Michigan tight end tonight. A pickup of 16. Bryce McNall in the coverage. Robinson in motion. They fake the end around to Denard, and Gardner pressured. Stops. Plants. Still trying to escape. And the freshman makes it up to the 15. Tyler Scott. Great job to hold his ground. It's only a gain of four for Michigan. Out of the shotgun. Robinson wants to take off. Now he steps back, throwback play, and it's intercepted. Again, Campbell with his second of the game. And a flag on the play, but Campbell still has room. A beautiful cutback at the 40 and near midfield. The freshman has answered his coach's challenge with two picks today, and this one returned for 42 yards. Kovac's father was a defensive back, a walk-on at Michigan, and he's following in the family tradition. Toussaint with the pickup of seven. Vincent Smith is the running back next to Denard Robinson. Robinson will keep it. He's got room, and he's upended after he picks up the first down, but Ibrahim Campbell needed less than one. He got three. First and ten, Michigan. This is Smith. And Smith brought down by Vince Brown, but after a pickup of seven. Northwestern shows blitz. Robinson runs against the blitz the opposite way, and he's got a big game. Shoelace forced out of bounds at the 30, a pickup of 17. Saw the blitz come from Michigan's left-hand side of the formation, but they had the right play call on Denard Keeper to the right-hand side or the bottom of your screen. Leaves Northwestern a little bit light as far as their coverage. It's the reason why Denard's able to pick up so much and move the chains for a first down. On the ground to Saunt, and he's pulled down from behind by Tyler Scott, pickup of five. This is only his fifth time out of the shotgun this game. And they do just that. Steps to set up the screen, and he's got room. Gallon, touchdown, Michigan. A 25-yard catch and run on the wide receiver screen to Jeremy Gallon. The second time Michigan's dialed up this screen to the back side. Again, they bring out their offensive tackle. This time, Mark Hugie gets just enough of the defense, and Gallon's able to get in for the touchdown. Commit to those community service hours so they can possibly win a $1,000 scholarship. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And neither is Person. He uncorks one deep. Caught! First down, Northwestern. Christian Jones, the freshman from Houston with the grab. There goes Schmidt. Coulter, option. Smith, touchdown Northwestern. What an answer by the Wildcats. Northwestern! Western only rushes three. Robinson over the middle. And a Michigan first down, Roy Roundtree. Gain of 16 on third and long. Oh, you mentioned they're only rushing three, and Denard does a nice job of finding Roy Roundtree. Gets the protection up front. You can see him running the deep dig route, as we call it. The job of adjusting, going down to the ground, and able to bring that one in, move the chains. It's exactly what I was talking about. Get that confidence back through the pass, passing game. Two tight ends in the game, Watson and Koger. Play action as you guessed. Robinson, a little bit of pressure, steps up, lets it go, a deep ball again. Caught! First down, Michigan, Roundtree. Perhaps a push-off, but regardless, it's first and goal, Michigan. A gain of 57. 
Saw the big play through the air in the first quarter. Once again, they were looking for that sail route to the left side, but Tyler Scott got pressure on Denard. He had to come back to the right. I almost thought they were going to call a flag on Jerevan Matthews for pass interference, but again, an outstanding 50-50 play by Roundtree. Second huge gain of the game for Michigan through the air. Hemingway had a 48-yarder to set up a scoring opportunity before. This is Toussaint, and Toussaint muscles his way to the one-yard line. Third and goal. Here's some option. Robinson will take it himself, and Shoelace lost to Shoe on his way in for a Michigan score. Pretty fitting there for Denard Robinson, obviously known for not tying his shoes. I'm surprised that he doesn't come out of his shoes more often. You talked about the option. You can see right here, puts his foot in the ground and runs right out of his <laughs> shoe. I know he's fast, but I'm surprised that doesn't happen more often. And Persa back at quarterback for the Cats. A little bit of option with Persa. He keeps it to uh, this time. First time he's kept it tonight. Ben Bergen and Martin in on the stop along with Ryan for Michigan. First time. Second and 11. Persa pressured and he gets dropped by Craig Rowe. Martin in on the bottom of the pile. The coach has told us that Martin may not have the numbers, but he's having a great season up front for Michigan. Well, Martin and everybody else on that play on the defensive front, that pocket collapsed in a heartbeat. And you can see that Dan Persa didn't have anywhere to go. They had him from the outside and the inside. I think that was the best defensive push from that front four of Michigan that we've seen all night. Third and 16 for Persa. Gets hit as he throws, and he throws incomplete. He got laid out by Ryan Van Bergen, the fifth-year senior from Whitehall, Michigan. 171 yards. Robinson dropped the snap, scoops it up. Here he goes. Shoelace again with both feet moving, and he takes it to the 45. His shoe stayed on that time, and a 25-yard pickup for Denard Robinson. Not too many people can make a play like that after a drop snap. That's usually a broken play. Quarterbacks don't go down on the ground. Let's go to second down. But how about when you got number 16, he's able to get into the open field. And luckily, Jordan Mabin was there. Otherwise, Denard might have gone the distance. And a 54 to 51 final. Robinson, three receivers out. And he goes underneath to Roy Roundtree to midfield. A pickup of eight. Mabin with the stop. Robinson will take it himself. He's got the first down. And he falls forward for a couple of more. Gain of four. First and ten, Michigan. Receivers, he now comes in motion. They fake the end around. Pitch to the near side. And Shaw popped out of bounds after a pickup of three by Tyler Scott. What do you think? Second and six now. Gardner back on the sideline next to Brady Hope. And Robinson back behind center out of the shotgun. He's looking deep. Checks to his tight end, Koger. He's got a first down and finally brought down at the 20. First half, Denard Robinson made some bad decisions in reads. Did you like that one? Oh, absolutely. He's much more dialed in here in the second half, throwing the ball with a lot more accuracy. He seems more comfortable in the pocket. You're going to see they're trying to give the defense a look of the screen going to left, and they slide Koger underneath. I like the design of that play by Al Borges. And again, move the chains for the Wolverines back into Northwestern red zone territory. Denard Robinson once again, the twin set as a wide receiver comes in motion. Gardner wants to throw. They set up the screen, coming back the opposite way. McNall had a hand there but couldn't get Smith, and now he's finally brought down after a pickup of six. Al Borges is calling the plays from upstairs for Michigan. They've converted eight of ten third downs tonight. Option. Robinson keeps first down Michigan and he dances his way towards the goal line down at the one is Denard Robinson first and goal Michigan after a pickup of 12. Second time in this ball game now we've seen Michigan get the right play call on they brought pressure from the opposite side from the right side of the offense leaves them a little bit lighter on the left side which is where Denard Robinson ran that football. Here it is play action Gardner on the naked boot He's got room and a step. Touchdown, Michigan. 
They ran the double lead, giving the ball to the tailback, and Al Borges comes back with the quarterback keep. We talked about Devin Gardner still being a fleet of foot quarterback and just had enough juice in the tank to get to the pylon. As Rowe left for Jabril Black, tough to find a sub with an up-tempo offense. Person steps up, throws, batted, and picked off, intercepted by Michigan. Brandon Hawthorne came up with it after the deflection. Just the third turnover of the season for Northwestern. And you can always see the tides turning a little bit. Tough break there for Northwestern. They had a good play call on right here, and the ball just bounces off the pads of Dunsmore, and it's just an outstanding play. That ball might have hit the turf. I wouldn't be surprised if the officiating crew takes another look at this one. You can see that the ball pops out, and there it is. The officials are going to take another look at it. They're going to try to get a playoff, but you can see right when he hit the ground, the ball pops up in the air a little bit. After further review, the ruling on the field of an interception is confirmed. Northwestern will be charged a timeout for their use of the challenge. And now he takes off on the run with the ball in his left hand, and he's got room straight up the gut. And Denai Robinson takes it all the way down to the 22-yard line. A pickup of 22 for Robinson. Well, Michael Shaw, his tailback, got an excellent cut block on Bryce McNall coming through the hole. There you can see it coming into your living, who cuts out the inside leg, which just opens that hole wide open. And any time number 16 gets into a whole lot of grass in front of him, here's another look at it. Perfect technique on the cut block, gets McNall out of the hole, and Denard does the rest. There for the Buckeyes who have found some offense. Here's Devin Gardner, play action, Selby. Well, and he goes underneath for a Michigan first down. Jeremy Jackson, the sophomore from Ann Arbor, picks up 17. Like the composure there by Devin Gardner. He's got two guys in his face. He's got to get rid of the football quickly. He was able to find Jackson downfield and deliver a strike. You can see right here, Nico Mafuli, the tackle, and Tyler Scott providing the pressure, but he gets rid of the football. Excellent delivery there by Gardner. Robinson hands it off. This is Shaw, and he's in. Touchdown, Michigan. 14 unanswered for the Wolverines if the extra point goes. Patch down by 11, trying to come back. Here's Hebert again on the long swing pass, and he gets folded up, lost the football. Covered by Michigan's Thomas Gordon. Northwestern shows blitz. Robinson goes to the screen in the face of that pressure, and Michael Shaw makes him pay on a pickup of 10. Third down. Cats bring three, and Robinson connects. He finds Gallon for a first down, and a big play for Michigan. Pickup of 19. Robinson hands it off to Shaw, and Shaw has blockers in some room, and he lost the football, but was likely down. Covered by Odoms. Drew Dilio is the holder, Brandon Gibbons the kicker. He's 0 for 3 from outside of 40 yards in his career, but he's got new confidence after catching fire this season, and Brady Hoke has put a lot of confidence in him. This one blocked. Jack DiNardo with his uncle looking on, came in with pressure to get a pawn. After throwing the game-winning pass against Iowa. Double, nope, this is Eber coming in. Rear personnel situation there before the snap for Northwestern. Charles Brown came running in from the sideline and was essentially a wasted player for Northwestern. And it's third down, key down for Northwestern. Persa stands tall, lets it go, knocked away. Good coverage downfield by the freshman, Blake Countess. Rashad Lawrence was the intended receiver for Northwestern. Fourth down, four down territory here for Northwestern.
Pressure coming. Kovacs, he lost his helmet. Persa still alive, and he lets it go incomplete. And Pat Fitzgerald saying, how is that not a blow to my quarterback's head when he stayed on his feet? He ripped his helmet off, Fitz says. His helmet is on the fifth. They did not whistle the play dead as soon as the helmet came off of Persa. Is dead when the runner's helmet comes off. First down, Michigan. They turn it over on downs, and Pat Fitzgerald's about to lose his mind. The line judge has to hold him back. Well, somebody else from the coaching staff needs to come get him, too. He's obviously upset. He felt like there was a face mask. That was the reason why his helmet came off. Huge pressure there by the Michigan defense. Jordan Kovacs is the one that comes in. You can see the pressure right there. And that's what Pat Fitzgerald is screaming about. He feels like Kovacs ripped his helmet off from his face mask. But this point right here, the play is dead. And that added 15 yards for Michigan as they take over after the catch. Turn it over on downs. And Michael Shaw with a big burst takes it before Campbell brings him down. Now time. Robinson wants to take it himself. Takes a hit, but then squirts forward for a gain of a couple. McNall finally got him. 516 yards of offense for Michigan. Robinson, straight ahead. Tried to bounce it. They try to rip it away, and they stand in our Robinson up. Tyler Scott with the stop after a pickup of three. Play action. Robinson sets up, sets his feet, lets it go. Complete. Michigan first down to Hemingway. A pickup of 17. And there was the opportunity for that Northwestern defense. Ibrahim Campbell, number 24, saw that play coming. Again, that was the sail route or the corner route that we've been talking about all ball game. And Campbell sits back, and you can see right there, he just about gets his right hand on the football, and Mabin makes the tackle. Robinson steps back, now busts to the outside, and the bounce will get him in. Another score for Michigan. And Shoelace kept both shoes on as he takes it in for another rushing touchdown. <laughs> Sophomore Coulter, quarterback now for Northwestern. Coulter steps up. He wants to run for it. He's got some daylight, but he was stopped at the one. And that's where this game will stop for Northwestern. 14-yard run, but stopped just short. And Northwestern held scoreless in the second half. Michigan's defense came in as the second-best scoring defense in the nation. They were put in a tough spot in the first half thanks to three turnovers, but they answered the bell in the second.